Hello guys, Prime Concept once again. We want to analyze this simple circuit in a very short time. So let's look at this junction. You notice that I1 is coming towards this junction. I2, which is this, is actually leaving this junction. Then I3 is coming here. So applying KCL, you quickly get that I2, which is leaving, is going to be I3 plus I1. So that is KCL. The next thing we want to do is to analyze KVL for this first loop. Now starting from this point, I'm moving upward. My loop is going upward, which is coming out from my positive terminal. So I have plus 6. If, I, if my loop goes this way, you notice that your loop and current are opposite direction. That is positive. So plus 10 I1. Then if I'm coming down now, my loop is coming down. It's coming out from my negative terminal. So minus 8 equals 0. So if I solve, I will find that I1 is going to be 6 minus 8 is minus 2. So if I cross it, it becomes 2 divided by 10, so which is 0 0.2 amp. The next thing I want to analyze this loop. If I start from this point, my loop is going, so it means my loop would come out from my positive terminal here, which is going to be plus 12. When I go up, my loop is going to come out from positive again, which is plus 8. Then when I'm coming down, my loop is coming down while my current is going up, which is still positive. So plus 16i2 equals 0. If I solve again, I have 16i2 equals this plus this is 20. So I have minus 20. So that i2 becomes minus 20 divided by 16. And i2 becomes quickly. I2 becomes minus 1.25 ampere. Now looking from this first equation, I can quickly get I3, seeing that I3 is going to be I2 minus I1, and then I3 becomes I2, which is minus 1.25, minus I1, which is 0 0.2. Then my I3 becomes minus 1.45 ampere, right? When you subtract. So I believe this concept is very clear to you. Our current values are I1, I2, and I3. Thanks for watching Prime Concepts.